you just, you know, when sometimes you got limited space. Mm -hmm. All right, so here we go. Zero by one, boneless strip loin. NEMP number 180. NEMP number 180. 180. We're going to start with the bottom. This is pretty clean, but we still have some more cleaning to do. And you'll notice this groove right here. This is the track where that 13th rib was. You're going to have that as well on yours. You remove all the connective tissue and heavy layers of fat that are on the bottom. You can do that with some flat trimming. Being very cautious not to take any red or as little as possible. Now the ones that you're going to have been, for the most part, mechanically deboned. And you'll that track where that 13th rib set, you could very easily and more than likely have a bunch of bone connective tissue in there that you have to get out. Okay, you have to get that out of there. It does not cook very well. Okay, if you have a large, thick layer of fat at the tail, don't cut it straight down. Follow the angle of the of the muscle. Take it off like so. Okay? We can always take them off after the portions are cut, but sure as heck can't put it back on. So you do that for a more natural look as well? That's correct. That's correct. Now it's a little bit too big. Come under here. Okay. Connect the tissue. Side. Too much fat here. I want to go. I want to go roast. What's my spec? Eight to a quarter. Good. Eight to a quarter. Good. <clears throat> Don't be a hero. Don't take it off all at one shot. Take it off in layers. Okay. Nice simple forward motion. Now this is a team effort. To be sharing the work. Uh, I do not recommend that you both have a knife on here at the same time. Do some, let your partner do some, you do some, let your partner do some, uh, you'll be graded as a team. A lot of fat on this animal. Nice clean white fat, look at that, beautiful stuff. Barding are two different things. Yeah. Uh, I said you probably could, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Get back together. Barding is putting on top. Larding is when you actually inject chunks of fat inside. The barding needle or larding needle. Again, I'm following the angle of the muscle. Sculpting it. As close I'll ever get to the sculpting ice. <laughs> So you notice I haven't hit any red, thank God. I got a little bit of movement here, so I'm probably close enough to being where I want to be. Some of yours might not be as easy to trim as this one. But that's a little bit more fat than I'd like to see on a zero by one. Okay, so that's our second move. Our first move was to clean the bottom nice. Second move was to trim the top down so we can leave between an eighth and a quarter. Our third move is going to be to Remove the collagen band that runs along the front of the eye muscle. This is the front of the eye muscle. This is the tail where it tapers down to nothing is the tail. The collagen band is opposite the tail. It's right along the front. How much do I take off? Any idea? Okay, you probably wouldn't know. It's okay. You need to. About two to three fingers from the front. 
Okay, about two to three fingers. Straight down or out? Nope. You're going to just follow straight across. Okay, follow straight across. So yeah. There's a, you said what was in here? I'm sorry. It's a collagen band. It's right along band. the front. It's a thick, heavy connective tissue that rides at the top of the animal. Okay. The two animals, the two sides are split. Okay, now, when you make that mark that I just did, you don't cut down into the red. All you're doing is giving yourself a track, a little reference point. Take your tip of your knife, pierce through, turn, and start your pullover clock. It's a little bit hard to get this off. You're going to struggle with it, fight it a little bit, but your key is to not go beyond this line and not go down deep into here. All we're looking to do is take off this collagen band that's right there. That's right there, actually. Yeah, is that it right here? That's part of it, yes. That's part of it. You're not going to get you probably, more than likely, you will not get this off in one piece. Honestly, this collagen band runs the whole length of the top of this muscle, but it gets extremely thinner as it goes down. This is where it is the heaviest. Oh, wow. Okay. That's some thick stuff right here. All right, you're not going to cut through that with any kitchen knives. But I know. So we've got a little bit more here. We've got the top off. We've got a little bit more. This is where you want to be a little careful. Because directly underneath this is like a little chain, uh, an attachment, a little second muscle, that if it's well attached, we're going to leave it alone. If it's coming off, it's hanging out by a thread, we're probably going to want to take it off. All right, so you want to be careful doing that. And again, when you're denuding, I like that 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock position. I don't like going side to side. I think it's much more comfortable. So very carefully, I'm removing this front. aware that underneath that is a nice muscle that if we don't mess it up, it's a good tasting, tender piece of meat. Okay, again, all thick, heavy collagen. Don't need it. This is nice, well tight. A little bit of oxidation here. That needs to come off. Okay. Then we're in good shape. Good shape. See what I expect? Yes, 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 sir. All right. Now I'm feeling this. It feels like I got a little bit more on there than I can see it now. A little bit more than I want. So I'm just going to take a little bit more off. Very careful. So you got to have sharp knives. Three steps. Bottom step, cleaning. Bottom, first step, cleaning the bottom. Second step, sh shaving down the top. Third step, taking out the collagen band, trying to protect the chain muscle. The fourth step will be to tie it up as a roast. Starting in the middle. Pay attention to your strings underneath. Want the strings to be underneath as nice and even as they are on top. I don't want them to be just even on top because that's what everybody's going to see. Well, that's not the case. Okay, you don't know what's going to happen. So you want the strings to be even all the way around. Start in the middle. Make your ties. One, two. Pull it hard. Okay, I should not be able to get my finger underneath these strings. I should not be able to. Okay, lock it in, cut the string about a half inch long, it's finished, okay. Knots go down low along the tail, not at the collagen band, opposite where the collagen band is. Back under. Right, if I like to go back and forth a little bit to make sure I don't get hung up on anything under. Dental floss. Two fingers.
tight as you can. Anybody can make the top look good. You gotta make the bottom look good too. Is even on the bottom as it is on top. Knots are down low. Picture just being in a carving station. It's bad enough that the people have to see the strings. We don't want them to see the knots. So the knots are down low back towards you. Okay? Yes, sir. It's a team effort. One nice and quiet. And I'll be grading within 15 minutes. Hurt? Yes, Let's go.